Welcome back to your dumbbell cardio workout where we've got a great 20 minute full body session all lined up for you. All you need is a pair of weights, right? We don't need much room to move around, it's all standing up, okay? You'll be working 40 seconds on and then you'll have 20 seconds rest while I'll demonstrate the next move to you. It's one round only session and there are no repeats, okay? So get yourself ready. These are three kilo weights, so if you're in the States, they're eight pound, all right? Okay, so get yourself ready and I'll see you in the workout. So welcome to today's session, like I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be starting from our legs and then we're slowly going to work our way up to our upper body, alright, so you're going to enjoy it, make sure you're not too heavy on these weights, okay, so first exercise, eccentric squats, all we're going to do, we're going to come down into a squat, nice and slow, about 3-4 seconds, and then we're going to come straight back up, okay, are you ready, get your dumbbells, and let's start. So nice and slow down. As you're coming up, squeeze your bum. That's it. Keep that chest up. And also I'm talking about technique. Try and make sure that your knees do not go past your toes, alright? That's it. Nice and slow coming down. Squeeze that bum as you come up. Keep going. So we've got 10 seconds left. You feel a nice warm sensation now in your thighs. Three, two, one. Okay, well done, well done. Okay, shake out a little bit here, okay? So we're slowly warming those legs up. So next exercise, straight from the side, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a rear lunge, and then we're gonna swap over, okay? Now, if you've got to pull your knees a little bit stiff, just come down to your own range of motion, that's all. Okay. Are you ready? Let's go. Again, try and keep your chest up. Now what I should have mentioned in the intro, if you've got more than one pair of dumbbells, is to have a, a few different sizes near you, okay? So then you can keep swapping and change, you're doing the other exercises. Here you go, eh? 15 seconds left. And like I said, just go down to your own range, so if you're starting coming down a little bit, you're still doing it. We're lubricating that knee joint. Nearly there. Two, one, okay, two, well done. So that ache might and your legs might have got a little bit more now. And again, she should muscle saying hello. Right, so we're gonna do the squats again. We're gonna assume more squats. That means we have our legs nice and wide. And all we're gonna do is four pulses. So we're gonna stay down here, four pulses. So we squeeze our bum one. as we stand up. Okay, let's go, let's go. One, two, three, four. Now I'm not going to count them out. I think we all can count to four. And stand up. Remember to squeeze the bum as we're coming up. Now if you even mention during the session in glutes, that is your bum. That's it, keep going. So that nice burning sensation, maybe get a little bit more. What we're doing, we're tearing small microfibers Three, into the muscle of your leg, okay? One, right, well done, well done. Just shake out. Right, this time, we have our dumbbells on our shoulders. We're gonna come down into a squat. Again, chest up, and as we come up, we're gonna push up, and make sure we don't hear that line, okay? So squat down. And then we're gonna go up. One. Are you ready? One, Let's go. Down shoulder, high bend, shoulder press. So breathe in, just come down and blow out as we go up. That's it. So even though we're working our legs, we're multitasking now. We're starting to warm up our upper body. 20 seconds. 15. It's single digits now, we nearly finished this one. Last few seconds. Right, well done. Okay, switch off those shoulders. Shake out those legs. Right, so we're back into squats again with some of those legs. So what we're going to do is go down to a squat. And as we come up, we're going to raise one knee. And then the opposite arm comes across as we twist our upper body. Twist down. Up, okay. 
Here they just go. So if your weight is too heavy, all you want to do is keep your arms down. You can still do that rotational twist, okay? Otherwise, it doesn't have to be a fast movement. Just, I want you to stick your stomach in, tense up, do work that car. Nearly there, 10 seconds. Four seconds left, come on. Well done, how are we feeling so far? Again, shake out those shoulders. Right, okay, so this time, what we're gonna do, back into the squats, we're gonna work our arms. So as we come down, we do a hammer curl, palms facing each other. And then we stand up, we're gonna do a bicep curl, okay. If you haven't got that, just watch me. So we're going down into a squat. So we're off now, by the way. That's it. Again, keep your chest up when you're doing that squat. So, hammer curl as we go down. That's palms facing each other. And then palms facing me as we do a bicep curl. Sorry, facing you. You do a bicep curl. Ten seconds, the session's gonna go so fast. Three, Keep going. Two, one. Well done, well done. Shake out the shoulders, loosen off those arms. Right, what we're gonna do this time, again squatting, swimming legs. We're gonna go into a squat, first of all. And then as we come up, I want your palms on your thighs, and shape on the side, keeping our chest up, Three, taking that lower bike all the way down. One. And back squat, up. Then remaining okay, you ready? So we squat. Okay, palms on the thighs. Look up at me as we go down, keep your legs nice and straight. And then back up. So you should feel that stretch back of your legs, okay? That's it. Remember to squeeze your bum as you're coming up from that squat. So we come down to a squat. Squeeze that bum all the way up. Palms. On our thighs, roll down our legs, our straight legs. Nearly there. Three, Last two, one. one. Yes. Well done, well done, well done. So, we're doing our legs, we're slowly now working our way up, okay. So what we're gonna do, we've got one arm, to lean over, okay mate, take your bike, have your hips facing the floor. We're going to bring it up to our hip cage and slowly back down. Okay, ready? One. So we're up one to one. Right side. All the way down, nice and slowly. So this is what we call eccentric training. So for example, if you've got a light set of weights, with this, you could go ahead and should you wish, okay? That's it. Keep going, it's our face to front now. All the way up. The elbow brushes your ribs as you're coming up. Again, hips all the way down. That's it. Three, two, right, well done. Yes. So now you've mastered that, we're going to do an add on, okay? So we're going back up to that row again. And as we go down, we're going to bring our arm to the side, okay? So a bit up, down. So we're going to do a fly and then back down again, all right? Three. Here it is. One. Okay, let's go. One so up, all the way up, all the way side. down, all the way out. Now if it's too much for the weight, drop the weight, just the body weight, okay? Now if this is a little bit too easy, you don't want to change the weight, okay? You're going to come up, down, and when it's come out, bring your palms behind you, so you're doing a twist. So, down, out, and twist that palm back, okay? That's it, keep going. Three seconds left. Two, one. Well done. So a nice burning sensation, you might around your thigh, should all be around that shoulder area now, okay? So what we do on one side, we're doing the other. So again, we're going to lean forward, hips facing down, so we're not doing this, right? So we're not doing that, we're keeping our hips down, 
bring it out uh, and up, okay? Are you ready? Well, no, I'm ready. Let's go. Up fast and slowly down. And then back up again. Remember elbows, just past your ribs. Up fast, slowly down. That's it, how we do it. Just keep pushing. So if you're breathing as we go down, and then blow out as you come up, okay? So breathe in, blow out. That's it, last few seconds. So we've got five seconds left. Three, two, one. Right, okay, yes. so again, we just warmed up the side of our back there, our lats. Right now, we're gonna do, we're gonna come up, slowly down, out, and in, in all right? I'll do it from the front. Get yourself right there. We've got in five seconds. Three, three two, two, one. one. So it's up, Single one slowly arm, down, lateral, out, side. and in. That's it. Lubricating that shoulder joint, trying to get in 20 fat pockets around that area. And this is where we add that shape and definition to that shoulder. How are we feeling? Smiling. Right, so 10 seconds left. Last five. Three, two, one. Well done, well done, well done. Right, so we're doing the fly, so we've, we've just been doing it another way. Right, so you're going to get your chest up looking at me. Right, all the way up, all the way down. Now, if that's too easy, we go up and then we bring our palms behind us, okay? Two. Are you ready? Then Let's go. So like I mentioned earlier, my job is to slowly fatigue the muscles in a nice way. So again, if you're not feeling it, the palms come behind. Try and get to shoulder right. You can come up in one, slowly down. These are little tricks to stop you from having to put your weights down and pick up a heavier set. That's it, keep going. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Well okay. done. Again, shake off the shoulders, loosen them off. Give yourself a bit of a hug. Right, because we're back to the shoulders again, okay. So we're gonna do a shoulder press, then we're gonna come in, and then we're going to do a narrow shoulder press, okay? I'm just going to keep repeating that. Two. So, are you ready? One. Okay, let's One go. One shoulder oh. press, then narrow Down. shoulder press. I'll come back a little bit so you can see me on the camera. So, we always blow out as we lift up, okay? So, it's breathe in, blow out. Breathe in, blow out. Blow out, breathe in, blow out. 10 seconds, come on. Breathe in, blow out. Three, two. Well done, all right. Again, just shake off those shoulders. So it's so important, especially when we're losing weight, to try and manipulate that skin, try and tighten the loose skin. And that's what we're doing, as well as getting into the fat pockets, okay. So next exercise, put your dumbbells together. All we're gonna do is stand up tall, Bring them all the way up to your uh, neck. All right, and then slowly back down. You ready? Let's go. Up. And then two, three seconds to come down. Straight back up again. Try and get your elbows higher than your shoulders as you come up. And again, if it's too much, just drop the weight and just the body weight only, leaving that ego at the door. But if you have a lighter weight, you can use that. Keep going. Right, so we've got less than 10 seconds. Get it there. Two, one. Well done, yes. well done. Again, loosen out. So, right, what we're going to do this time, we're going to bring our arm, front arm, our right arm up, and we're going to bring our left arm to the side and slowly down. Then we swap over. 
Okay, so we're gonna start forward with our right, okay? Ready? Let's go up. Just the shoulder right, slowly down. Up fast, slowly down. Now keep doing that. If it gets too much, all we need to do is the forward raises, okay? And do them a second up, a second down, okay? That's too much. Put your weights down and the body weight only. So the shoulders should really be saying hello to you now. Three. Three seconds left. One. Well done. Again, check out. You're doing so well. Right, so what we're going to do this time, we're going to have our dumbbells together. We're going to come all the way up. We're going to come down with the dumbbell, back up, and then back down to our Two. stomach again. Okay, One. you ready? So we're out. Straight down, front shoulder up. raise, palms out. Down. So I've really going to work on those weights. Up, down, middle, in. Again, drop them weights if they're too much. So we're not just working our shoulders, working our arms as well, and our chest. That's Three, two, one. Well done. All right, now your forearms, my forearms, your shoulders should be really burning, okay? That's a great exercise for toning, shaping your shoulders. Right, okay, so all we're going to do, forearms, your palms facing the sky, we're going to come to shoulders, you can have your dumbbells together, Three, slowly two, down, all right? One. All right, let's go. Up and down raise. So up fast, and again, three or four seconds down. If it's too much, drop that weight. Now, if you're new to the channel, and you heard me saying three kilo weights, and you think, oh, that's an ambi fan bear, right? Hopefully you've got those three kilo weights and you better feel it's not an ambi fan bear. That's it. Three, two. Well done, well done. Roll the shoulders up and down. Loosen out those shoulders. So right, we're going on to bicep curls, okay? So you want your palms facing me onto your thigh, elbows to okay, we're gonna open one and slowly gonna come down, okay? Three, four Three, seconds down. Two, Here we are. Let's go. So I want to keep your core go. engaged, okay? Nice and tight. Remember that breathing. So you breathe in, just come down, and blow out as you come up. That's it. Remember we're not moving our elbows. You see a lot of people in their fitness centers with these big weights and they're swinging themselves around. All they're gonna do is hurt themselves. This is the best way to strengthen your body without hurting yourself. That's it, nice and slow. This time, really slow. Come on, all the way down. Well done. Right, so we work the front of our arms. Now we're gonna work the back of our arms, okay. So, have your hands up. You can have one dumbbell or two. I'm having two. Okay, all we're gonna do is bring them down behind us. Do not hit yourself on the head. Elbows close to the head as you can. All the way back up, okay? You ready? Let's go. You'll find your elbows will start pulling out. Just try and control them. So now we're gonna make this eccentric. So count to three or four seconds as you're going down. And then up straight away. Okay, remember to lock out those arms. 20 seconds left. Still smiling. Right, last 10 seconds. Let's see how low we can go. Let's see how, far, uh, how close we can get those elbows. Three, two, one. Well done. Rest. How are the back of your arms feeling? So this is the last exercise, okay? All we're gonna do, we're gonna do uppercuts. So in case we don't hit ourselves in the face, we're gonna diagonal. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna take our upper body as we go up, okay? 
So I do this in a lot of my walking workouts without the weight. Two, one. Okay, let's go. Tapica diagonal reach. Nice and slow. You nearly finished, you're doing really well. That's it, keep going. That's it. Well over halfway on this exercise now. I want you to feel that chest, feel your arms. Just say hello to you. Last half, four seconds. Two, one. Right, well one done. Just put these down. So, you did awesome, okay. If you found the weights a little bit too light, like I mentioned before, if you got another set, have them close by. If one's not working for you, use the other, okay. But just remember, technique is more important than how much weight you've got, okay. If you're feeling that burn, it's working. So that's enough from me, okay. Keep coming back, let me know how you get on. If you've got any friends and family who you think would like these kind of sessions to help lose weight and tone up, alright, get them to join as well. It's enough from me, take care, bye.